I can't do that. No. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wednesday. Woo. We're in that shred. We shred on Wednesday. Hello, Christy. Christy Mindell. Is it Mindell or Mind? Like, you know, I always accentuate the wrong syllables. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. People call it, say, all kinds of things, but it's Mindell. Mindell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I've been called I, all, I all of it. I respond to all of it. Okay, because I say like TV or like I always, I, I used to get made fun of all the time because of the way I said like, yeah, just <laughs> I don't know how to accentuate the, the syllables very well. Um, but good. Christy, welcome to Women That Shred. Thank you. Um, I didn't realize that you were on Josh's show not too long ago. You were shredding yeah. with him, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We, we had a really good conversation because we were talking about non-QM in general. And, and this is kind of a new space for yeah. myself. And it was really kind of fun to talk to him and, and uh, our EVP of sales, Kimberly Torres. She's she's really cool. She has a lot to say about the topic as well. And and so how to take advantage of that opportunity was really cool. Nice, nice. Well, we we uh, we're not, we don't get as technical on this show. Yeah, <laughs> which I love it. Yeah, like this is more kind of just you know, having a conversation and hopefully, you know, adding some value to our guests. And speaking of our guests, we have Suha jumped on here and Christina. Um, hello, ladies. Hi. Thanks for hopping on. Um, so we are going to discuss networking, but I, yeah. I was thinking about it because I've talked about it before, you know, on this show, because it is a very, um, important topic that I think never goes out of style. No, <laughs> it could all do better. So, yes. So in this case, like I want to really dive deep into it and like really share examples because a lot of people are always curious as to how I have the network that I have or the people that yeah. are in it. And I don't think they realize like the amount of time and energy and effort that goes into that. And yeah. so I would love to kind of get your perspective on it and you know, share with us exactly what it is that you do. Cause yeah. I think it's evolving too, now that we're, you know, mostly online as well. So I think it's, yeah. has changed. it's not just like in person going to, you know, happy hours. And, yeah, exactly. You know, it's, yeah. Um, I feel like it needs to, a new word, like instead of networking, cause when people think of networking, it has like a neck, like people go, Oh, it's something I have to do. Like, I know I have to do it. And yeah. so I kind of get like, a little bit like it's just getting to know other people and how you could serve. Like if you come, like for me, networking is about, um, and I didn't really know this at the beginning of, of this process, but mm -hmm. I always go in it with like a heart of helping others. And yeah. through that, I start meeting other people and through that other people. And so the net, like all of a sudden you have this network that's pretty awesome because they, um, you've worked with them and they believe you and they trust you and they appreciate your work. And so you have, you just keep spreading that. And hopefully through the people that you serve, they're serving other people in, in a positive way. And so I come to networking with like a giving, serving mentality instead of like, oh, what can I get from Raquel? What can I get from Josh? Like, what can I get from somebody? I don't do that. Like, I don't expect anything out of anybody. If I am putting my heart out there and helping you or talking to you or getting to know you, it's, it's just curiosity, part curiosity, and then part you know, maybe that we could do business down the line when it's organic, when it's natural. Right. Now, but I love that you said doing business down the line, because I yeah. think, you know, for the longest time, you know, just from experience, you know, you go to a happy hour, you go to a conference and you're there and like right away, everyone's like, so who do you work with? What do you do? And then they automatically yes. go into that, like that business mode. And for me personally, as soon as they do that, I'm like, mm -hmm. Um, I think I, I think I saw someone I know, or, oh, I gotta go. I gotta run to the restroom. Like I, I quickly make an excuse Yes. out of that conversation. Yes. I'm like, you know what? Clearly this person mm -hmm. has that mindset of like, they just want to do business. Oh, Hey Josh. Hey Josh. Christy, Josh. <laughs> yes. I mean, you just hopped in here. Whoa. That's big time. <laughs> I'm, I met Josh at a conference for the first time. Uh, uh, I don't even know how many years ago, maybe four or five years ago, he was at a conference. He had a, he had like one of those gimbal things. He was, he was walking around with, that was like the first I was time say, he I'm had sure it. Everyone's like, what is that person doing? Yeah. And I was like, dude, like, Hey, you're Josh Pitts, that guy, Josh Pitts. And what is that thing you're, you're playing with? And he's like, Oh, it's pretty badass." And he's, you know, he's kind of explaining it. I'm like, okay, 
I'm going to get one now. And I have one. Yeah. I still don't know how to use it, but I got one. <laughs> so. I got one and I couldn't use it properly. I don't, I think it might've been broken to begin with. And then I was too lazy <laughs> to return it, but I was like, Oh, but I did yeah. get one, but it's yeah. funny that you, at least you met Josh. I haven't met Josh. Um, what? Oh <laughs> man. No. Um, okay. So it's kind of cool that like we're working together in some capacity, but still yeah. haven't met each other, which also kind of leads again to this whole networking concept of where you right. can still network, not have it yeah. be in person and still exactly. build and create these incredible relationships. And so yeah. I think that's another thing where I think people need help with um, in yeah. the sense that especially in our industry, I feel that as soon as someone connects they automatically might send you like a spammy message or automatically like go into business right away or expecting you to send yeah. them business. And that's, you can't no, do that anymore. And you know, yeah. so like same thing, if I go into someone's messages and their DMS, whether it's Instagram or LinkedIn, yeah. I always come at it with like, Hey, I really love your content. Or I love that you specifically said this, like I make it very clear that it's personal, that like yeah. I actually paid attention to what they're posting. It wasn't just, you know, yeah. out of the blue because I saw that they were a loan officer or, or a real estate agent or whatever, or in marketing. Yeah. Um, so for me, I always pick, think of something and sometimes I'll send a video depending on, on the person yeah. video or a voice note because also That's they bravery the right there. Yeah. <laughs> and it's amazing how quickly that conversation kind of, you know, starts out because there's like that mm -hmm. automatic kind of connection, connection. Mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. i don't know if you do that <laughs> well so i don't really i don't do it that way i think what i start to do is i start to look at a person's content that i'm interested in and if they start saying things that seem interesting or you know we're connected like for example i like to connect with a lot of marketers um marketers yeah. don't necessarily go out of their way to become friends for some odd reason i'm not sure why but it's maybe, you know, we're, we're grinders. We like, we like grind on our work and we don't see anything else. And so because our task list is and our project list is so huge that we, we don't really take time to network with others. And I, and maybe that's part of the biggest reason why I hadn't for a long time is I was too busy in the work. I didn't have time for social media. I didn't have time for networking. So maybe in the, in the course of busyness, you don't, find that networking is important. But at the end of the day, networking is why I'm here today. I mean, networking is literally the reason I got my job here. Hey, Molly. And it really is um, what like, catapults your career in, in a way, because of if you're really true to who you are and to your work, then that just keeps following you through your network of people that know you. And they become you become like a person they trust or they respect or you know, can depend on. And so, and I really believe in, in just helping. So um, it, the power of the network is very important to me. Now, let's just clear the air though. On LinkedIn, how many freaking DMs do you get? And it's sell, sell, sell all day, every day. And I can't even really respond to half the messages that come in trying to sell me. So I don't really even reply back. And I feel so horrible inside not to reply back, but you can't even get to it. I mean, there's literally like no time in the day to get back to all the extra noise. So the way I go about it is I, I mostly just like and comment on people that are adding value to the community. And then over time, there'll be some something they say that I go, oh, you know, if you're looking for a solution, you know, we have something here at Champions. Like, have you if you're looking for a non QM or you're struggling with that, then I'll say, hey, have you ever thought about this or um, you know, I saw you had some questions about social media or some gripes. And, and so maybe you think about it this way, or I'll just add comments to people that I feel like I can add value to. And then that's what starts the conversation. Or like, like, for example, you, you had a, a person that fall, fell out on your women with shred. And then I was like, well, I don't know this girl, but I see her all the time because mostly because I just adore your hair. I wish I had okay. hair like yours, but it was more like, you know what? She needed to fill a need. Maybe she has this happen to her and maybe I could help her in some way. Yeah. So I'll jump on your show if you need somebody to, you know, be there for you. And I don't know you, but I'll be there for you. So let's get to know each other. 
No, I, I love that. And then Molly, yeah, so this is great because Molly's when you're networking, I love she goes hashtag networking. Um, <laughs> the event you're attending matters. Choose to, par- to participate in places you feel comfortable yep. where you can be yourself. If the environment is too stuffy, too pro or oh. too formal, the networking won't be as effective because you have your guard up, which so is so true. true. And I have learned myself to kind of, stay clear of some time of those like networking events where I know what it's going to be like, or there's events where I know it's just going to be like kind of a more of a party yeah. scene. And sometimes I'm like, I don't want to be a part of that either. So it's okay to be picky yeah. as to where you want to insert yourself. <laughs> you Aww, know? Melanie, thank, you. Here. thank you. Instagram. for Oh my gosh. So through Instagram. See, yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. So Melanie, this Melanie is a great example of what networking, the power of networking. She is our director of digital content at Champions Funding. Oh, okay. And she, um, she was previously um, the social media marketing manager at um, Kind Lending, where we, where I brought her into the mortgage industry at that moment in time. Now, Melanie has a sense of humor that I absolutely adore. And so I was, um, I do like a, like a, a mommy blog kind of thing on travel. And so I have something okay. on the side that I have fun with. I met Melanie through Instagram because she lives locally in Orange County and she has all this great content about Orange County family life. I've been oh following God. her for six months. Yeah. And she's so funny and so hilarious. And I'm like, huh. So she, so I posted something about, Hey, I'm looking for social media marketers at this new company that I'm working at. Um, do you know anybody, you know, just broadcast it. She's like, well, tell me more about it. And I'm like, you're a mommy blogger, which is awesome. But I think you, ca- you care about people. You care, you know, like you're a homeowner, you, you know, you have all these things that connect you to the mortgage industry and you have a, a platform and a voice and you know how to use it. So come on in, come into the mortgage industry. So she's never, like done anything in mortgage, but she came on board, went in and started learning everything about, you know, all the mortgage acronyms, possible LTVs and FICOs and all the things that we don't even know still maybe to this day. But I mean, hopefully we know that, but it's like all the terminology, you know, within the guidelines that we had to like learn and master and still kind of understand. Um, She came in like a boss and started owning it and she created the content kept it funny and kept it personal. But that relationship was because I just started connecting with her on Instagram because I thought she was funny and she's awesome and brilliant in her writing. And I could see that. And so that networking opportunity um, really turned out great for, for us (laughs) at champions funding. It's, it's awesome to have her on board. That's great. No, I'll definitely have to uh, check her out. Maybe I'm already following her. I don't know. Sometimes, you know, you just don't know if you're following the person or not. Yeah. We'll have to connect. But that's what's great, too, is the fact that you were saying that you loved her humor and how funny she was. Yes. And so you felt that connection. Like, that's the same thing that I tend to gravitate on social media towards people that are funny. Yeah. And that have this really, like, quick, witty, you know, sense of humor, kind of sarcastic. Yeah. And then, you know, that kind of builds on there, you know, through that. So that's, like, why I tell people all the time, like, just if you're yourself, you're going to attract Mm-hmm. The people that are going to appreciate that about yourself and your personality. Yeah. Um, I mean, it took me a long time to realize that. Um, yeah. you know, when I first got on LinkedIn, I was trying to be kind of professional and a little bit more serious. And the content right. I was putting out there was content that I felt was, you know, appropriate for the mortgage industry. And then I don't know how it kind of morphed into me. It evolves. Just it being, just evolves. Yeah, it just evolved and I morphed yeah. into myself, like my true, you know, 100% authentic self. And then that's yeah. when like everything changed. Mm-hmm. So that's really important too, that when you are networking, that you're putting your, you know, your true self first, like forward. And yeah. I think that's where a lot of the networking also is kind of like people come at you in this way. Yeah. Where Later, when you get to know them, you're like, you are nothing like the person that approached me that one day or. Yeah, (laughs) right. That's my biggest fear. Let's go back to Molly's comment, though, the the power of networking at shows. So I I know for me, because I've always been um, like, I don't know how this turned because I guess I'm getting older. But when I was younger in my career, um, I've always been like on the young side of all my peers of people I serve or work for. And so I, you know. 
as a young person getting into mortgage industry at the time, I was really fearful of networking. Like I didn't understand. I don't think they pe people would take me seriously because I'm young. Maybe I didn't know enough. And so there's a lot of that at shows where you feel just awkward. And so um, I think it's it's more about like, you know, what kind of things would help young people in the mortgage industry um, go out of their way to say hello to somebody or get to know somebody when they walk by a booth, get to understand their their business. And so that's kind of what I did. I, I would go to these shows where I was super uncomfortable and I'm like, okay, I have two choices. Continue to be super uncomfortable or just say, hi, what do you guys do? Even if it's over my head and I don't know what, you know, appraisal valuations are at that time, you know, being 30 something like 32 or whatever, um, you know, it's just asking the questions. And then finally, like later down the road, those, those things might connect and make more sense to you the next time you see it. Yeah. So it's just like building blocks of like putting yourself out there little by little and then just like building upon it. Even if you don't know what a person does entirely, just being interested, I think is helpful. And then you go, Oh, Hey, I saw you at the last show and you know, how are you doing? And you start like evolving that conversation and having those icebreaker moments. But I also think the icebreaker um, icebreakers are a great way to think about you know, like when you're going into a show or networking, sometimes I have to think about like, if I'm going to meet somebody new, what, what kind of things am I going to go in with? Like, how am I going to introduce myself or how am I going to um, like learn who that other person is? And so sometimes I do that. I have like some canned things. So in the moment when I freeze and I don't know what to say, and I'm just sitting there smiling, shaking my head, you know, I go, Oh, okay, well, well, here's some of your canned phrases. <laughs> one of my canned phrases will be like, so, so tell me about your business. What do you guys do here? You know, okay. like that's, yeah. that's like one generic, like maybe that's super basic and cheesy, but hey, at least you know. it starts a conversation. And if they're smart, they'll go ahead and at least, you know, share what, what they yeah. do in hopes that maybe you'll be, you know, future client or customer. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? I mean, and I'm, and I'm in marketing, I'm not their ideal client. So half the time, you know, they're looking for loan officers or somebody else. But I mean, you never know when I can connect you to a loan officer. So you never know where yes. your business is going to come from. It could come from somebody that's completely not in that role. And so that's what also networking can do is, is yeah. help you connect to people that are your target audience, which I think is important. Yeah. Um, let's, let's see what Suha said. Uh, one of the best advice Hi, about networking is to find that one person in the room by themselves or someone who is on their phone and go introduce yourself. They're probably uncomfortable or feeling intimidated, et cetera. I, yeah. I have, I, I, I don't know if I can do that. I still feel kind of weird going to someone that's standing by themselves. Cause I know when I'm standing by myself and someone comes up to me, sometimes I'm like, uh, <laughs> You're like, a reason why I was standing by myself. I'm just kidding. I, I love that approach. I should try that. I just get a try little, I get, I get a little nervous um, because, you know, maybe that's like Southern California. We, you know, we don't outwardly do that. We don't have that, you know, Southern charm or anything like that. We're just, you know, in our own world. But... I think we do. I think, oh, you know, no. what? I think we do because I'm out here on the East Coast. And when I go up to someone or introduce myself or I just have a smile, they're like, you're not from around here, are you? <laughs> And I'm like, why do you say that? They're like, because you're too friendly. And you're like, are oh. you so I'll tell you that in the East Coast, this DMV area, I stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's you have the bubbly personality. So I could see that. I could see that. But you know what? It's what, what's needed, though. We need more people like you out there in the world to say hello to all, you know, the people that are feeling awkward. And and that's, I mean, it's just the the interactions. And once you see it enough and you start practicing what you preach, I think it just keeps on paying itself forward. And, and maybe that, you know, like Sue has idea, you know, maybe I'll, I'll try that at the next show I go to. I think I'm going to, um, oh, California Association of Mortgage Professionals oh, okay. next week. They're having a um, annual convention uh, summer. It's called Summer Camp. So it's going to be in Newport Beach. They um, have a bunch of Southern California, um, all throughout California, people okay. coming down and and so I'm going to try that. I'm going to find somebody. So if you're watching the show. Too. I'm going to do that too, Suha. And then Ginger says, oh, what do you recommend Hi, to Ginger. events? Cards old school. <laughs> Use my link tree and have a URL, meetgingerbell.com. I like that. What do you recommend? Um, yeah, what do you recommend? Oh, gosh. You know what? Uh, business cards are, I mean. I, I don't have I, any. I had never ordered any, ordered any at NAF. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm in marketing and we, that's what we do, but I, I kind of like, I love and hate because I don't like to carry them around 
And I know when I go to shows, it's like, okay, where do I put that in this purse that I'm trying to streamline? Well, I know I, I don't, I don't ever keep the ones that I get. So for yeah. me, like, I feel like it's just a waste of paper. So when people ask me for a business card, I'm like, listen, are you on social media? And if yeah. they say they're not, then that's actually good lead in for me. Cause that's yes. what I do is social media and helping, you know, loan office their brand presence. So then it's like, Hey, you should get on or whatever. Cause I'll tell them like, that's, yeah. Like I will give them my QR code. Cause you know, LinkedIn has a QR yeah. code. Yeah. yeah. Instagram. So I've done that before where we just exchange QR codes. Yeah. And then automatically I feel that as soon as they look at my LinkedIn and they kind of get like a quick resume of who yeah. I am and what I do. And I feel like yeah. it's just way more powerful than a yeah. business card. Cause I do feel like a lot of people just chuck it. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I mean, oh, I'm digital there. cards too. Look at, digital look cards are great. Oh I'm God, I threw mine all away. Like I had so many. These like are that, cards from the show. <laughs> I just ended up recycling them. But um, yeah, yeah. The uh, I've seen. Have you seen? I have. There's loan officers at NAP that have like this like really cool digital card. Oh thing. yeah. You just on your phone and you scan you it. Scan it. It's uploaded into your phone. Yeah. As a we like that. Oh, so yeah, we like that a lot. Okay. I think those are really awesome. Um, they yeah. have stickers. You can make them into stickers and put them on your cell phone. I think that's brilliant. Um, yeah. usually, you know, if I'm in the, in the heat of the moment and I'm meeting somebody for the first time, I'm not prepared. I'm just like, Hey, how are you doing? Let's connect. Look, hey, are you on LinkedIn? And then I'll just be like, you said, find them yeah. that, you know, so yeah, I do it right there and right there. And then I don't, yeah. Oh, your audio just lost, we lost you. Can you hear me? Yeah. You said, I think you said that was weird. Literally it's my, okay. my, it, my connection just like went out. Went out. It's okay. And it's now all I good. can't hear you. Maybe you're muted. Too. Oh, are you? Muted? Okay. I can hear you. I don't know I what happened. Okay. Hold on. There, Dal just private chatted me. Oh, oh she yeah. hears us both. Okay. So but I don't hear you, it. which could so be maybe a problem. It's your audio. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I can't hear you. Um, maybe change your, I'm um, sorry. Like, I don't know what happened. Literally like change your headset. it just went out and I got the Microsoft thing. Um, um, okay. I'm going to hop on off and on. So, okay. um, Christy, you go ahead and continue is, like what you okay. do, like networking wise, and then <laughs> okay. I'll be back on. So you can that handle the good. show. <laughs> okay. So I love all the comments that are coming in too. So the digital card is really awesome. The other thing, um, I think that I really do that is helpful. I take a screenshot once I connect with them on LinkedIn, I'll take a screenshot. So later I'll say something to them and, and connect. And there you are. And Why I can not? hear you. So keep going. This is awesome. See? Yeah. Good. So roll. it's all good. This is how we roll. We're women. We, yeah. we find a way. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but connecting with a person on LinkedIn or on socials, wherever they get social is, is basically how I, I find somebody and then I'll screenshot their photo on oh. their, on their profile page. So I don't forget about them. Yeah. And then later on, I'll, I'll just remember to like, like, and comment. So they show up on my feed a little bit more. Yeah. And so I kind of trick the algorithm to show me more of their content if I'm trying to make that relationship happen. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if this is like a joke or not, but <laughs> someone just their comment. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't see face. any of the comments. What's happening? <laughs> someone just called us sexy milfs. And I don't I don't know if that was like a joke. Well, or, I'll take I that. I, was, like, I, mean, I don't know that person, but hey. I'll take it. Shoot. I'll take I mean, it. Sorry. I mean, I'll take, you know. <laughs> Thanks for the comment. Yeah, if, if you're into <laughs> chicks in the 40s, I mean. <laughs> I was going to say, I would be 47. It's funny how, like, there comes a point where you're, like, you get, as we get older, it's like, you know what? The compliments aren't as, you know, they used to be or the attention. Yeah. So every, every, I know, so every, every now and then I know it might not be appropriate, but you know what? Like, I'll still take it. <laughs> well, I think you are a gorgeous human being. So is Dal. So are all these women that are commenting. I mean, I, I love seeing the names and I just I think everyone's all the women beautiful. That today and Josh. Um and Josh. Yeah, but, that, but that's the thing is like, so even with this, what we're doing now, like there's women on here that I don't know. And so right. we'll get to and just like you said, we connected through the show. And yeah. um for me, it's just it's connection. Like there, there, there should be a different word to it that has like the word connect or connection. Yeah, it needs networking to be. because for me, it truly is about 
the yeah. connection that you make with that person. And then not only that, like, just like you said, it's how can you serve and help? Like, yeah. I love connecting people that I meet with other people. Like I'm yes, constantly I do like, too. Hey, who can I connect you with? Like, yes. You know, uh, if you see somebody on my on my LinkedIn or my Instagram that comments and you and you've been wanting to talk to that person, you know, let me do a soft intro. Clearly, I'm like, hey, if yeah. you're just trying to like do business and like, then don't, that then I'm not going to do that because I don't yeah. Yeah, like. I think that's kind of ooh. Um, yeah, I've had people say that like, hey, I've really been wanting to do business with that person, or I really want to recruit them, or like, can you connect? I'm like, no, I don't know. I don't. I just don't feel right in that way either. If it's just yeah. really straight. Yeah. Yes. I love this. I love this tip here from Suha, this trick of, uh, of taking a picture of their lanyard. I do that too. And then, oh, of their lanyard. I, I sometimes just take it, depending on the person, I'll be like, let's take a selfie and then I'll use yes. a selfie in my contact photos. So you'll see in my contacts, it's me. I have a ton of selfies. <laughs> oh, you have. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I need to do a that. lot of times, um, you know, it's bad. I forget the person's name. Okay. Um, so then what happens is if I think I remember their name, I'll go. And then if clearly, if I have a picture of the two of us and I'm like, Oh yeah, that's the person. And then maybe I can be a little bit more specific, but, um, yeah, I yeah, the do lawyer, like, that's a good one too. yeah, I usually in my phone, I'll put like, um, in their name field, I'll put like work and then the person's name and then their last name in the last name field. And then the company I might, if I know their company or I'll just put like met at NAM. Uh, or met at whatever event. Yeah. And that's so I'll put those little hints on there. I mean, I also did that while I was dating, <laughs> but it was, you know, cause you don't know who, when I, before I met my husband 10 years ago, you know, I was on a dating spree. And um, so, you know, you can't remember all the people that you meet that you were dating or, you know, whatever. So you have yeah. to put those little breadcrumbs of how, you know, that person. So I either put work or vendor or show in front of their okay. names. So I can remember. Yeah. But I also do that in person. I'll put like doctor or um, my son goes to a school. So I'll put the acronym of the school in front of all the mommies that I meet and things like oh, that. Okay. So, so I can yeah, kind of like it's, find it's, them better. But it's important because with social media, it's, you know, you're meeting people every single day on, on all these different yes. know, teams and platforms where before, yes. unless you actually went to an event, you pretty much didn't have to worry about that. But now yeah. with social, it, there are so many people that we come across every single day. Yeah. That's why it's also kind of really important to try to at least like differentiate yourself in some kind right. of way. And yeah. usually it's when you're just being yourself, <laughs> you automatically differentiate. Yes. No. Exactly. You know, like that's why I think where people forget. They're like, "How do I stand out?" Yeah. You know, I'm like, maybe if you were just a hundred percent you, you would stand out because you're nobody else is like you. And so I, I think believe that. That I think right now, I don't know. Coming as a marketing person, Christy, I don't know if you're experiencing this right now, but this is what I'm experiencing personally. Is now when I go to people's feeds, mm -hmm. I think now, especially a ton of loan officers, real estate agents are trying to do like the trendy yeah. reels, the same kind of audio, the same reel. So now yeah. it's going to the point where now it's like saturated almost with the same content. Yeah. And so I have to remind myself of like, Raquel, just post what you, you know, like I keep doing me. Yeah. So that it is different. Right. So yeah. like even yesterday I posted a, a selfie of myself and it was very flash dancy and I put, mm -hmm. and I love the eighties and I put an MTV logo on it and I said, I want my <laughs> MTV, but yeah. it was very different and it was like very colorful. Yeah. And I know that it stood out and it might not, someone might see it and be like, who's this, what, she, what is she all, ab all about? But I feel yeah. like you're also getting to learn that I'm a creative person. Yeah. And I'm artistic that yeah. I liked the eighties, that I was yeah. an MTV baby. So there's ways to still put right. content out there. That's purely you, that someone can kind of get to know you um, in an yeah. instant. Yeah. And I kind of, you know what, going back to your, your comment about LO's kind of using the same audios. So you're in the business. That's what you do all day. So we're a little bit more desensitized because we see it more often, but yeah. you gotta think about the loan officers and their target audiences. Yeah. We're not their target audience. They're the home buyers are in a way. I mean, we are, but we aren't, but the loan officer, you know, them actually doing it is like big props to them because yeah. it's hard to get anybody to do social media in general. And, and when they do reels, you're like, wow, that's really awesome. They're putting themselves out there. Yeah. If they have to take an audio and, and, you know, 10 other loan officers have done it. 
So what? Just do it because no, you feel good. No, but that's a good point because just yeah. like you had mentioned before our call, we were having a conversation as a market. Once again, when you're marketing, you're in it. And yeah. sometimes you have to have someone that's on the outside looking in or put yourself out in a different, from a different yeah. perspective, right? So that right there goes to show you that, you know, I kind of get caught up in my own little world too, where I'm constantly yeah. following loan officers and real estate agents. So maybe that maybe that's telling yeah. me that you need to start following other people. <laughs> yeah. And you kind of just, you just kind of put yourself in the other person's foot and the home buyer's foot going, okay, that loan officer is cool. He's got a fun reel yeah. or good information. And so that stuff, I mean, I see a lot of lenders like ourselves, where we're starting to do non-branded um, marketing content for our broker audience. Um, so they're going to, you're probably going to see a lot of champions funding, you know, non-branded content that looks the same, but we don't all have the same people in our follower list. So right. it's very, you know, it's varied. So it might seem like everybody's posting from a particular lender, the same thing, but you know, it actually goes wider than just the, the people that commonly see it. So I think it's kind of okay. I mean, I am yeah, in the mindset no, no, no. of, I'm, I'm so glad that you said that. Cause yeah, that's yeah. the thing is like. I think we all just get cut up in, in a certain perspective. I right? know I do too, though. Cause yeah. I always no, no, no. So that's debate. great. So at least it encourages those loan officers that are watching this. They're not like, oh my gosh, Raquel just said that we all look alike and sound the same. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep please. going. Yes. <laughs> I yes. don't want to discourage anyone. Um, but Sue, okay. So we're like at the 30 minutes, but let's answer this really quickly. Okay. Before good. We, um, before we close out, what's the best icebreaker question that is not business related? Do you have one in particular? Um, I don't have like a standard one. I'll find something that happens at a show and I'll go, Hey, what did you think about that last session? Or like, or I'll say something that I go, Hey, those are really cool shoes. Or where did you get that, you know, case or, you yeah. know, I'll start like finding something that I like about that person. Even like, you know, with you and your hair, I mean, your hair is, I wish I had your hair. That's probably my, if I met you out there, I'd be like, dude, your hair is so nice. Like, what do you use? What kind of product do you use? Yeah. Um, I would probably, you know, give a compliment in some way and, um, not to be, you know, I'm not trying to do it in a fake way. I'm generally, generally, um, naturally curious. So I look at people and I just try to like understand their story and who they are and how I can help them in some way and just want to meet them if their energy is there and yeah. they, if they seem receptive. And so I'll find a way to connect. I don't know yeah. how it is, but yeah. that's one of the, one of the ways. What, what yeah. do you do, Suha? Tell us what you do. I know. Well, she, well, she's extroverted like me too, where I think the same, just like what you said, I, Suha is very much like that, where she is very complimentary. She's very, but it's very yeah. genuine. Right. So I can see her doing the same thing as you do the yeah. same thing I do, especially with women. I feel like it's yeah. so important to compliment other women. Like, yeah, like you, there, there's going to yes. be something about them that you like, like, yeah. let's you know what I mean? Whether it's their hair or their yeah. shirt or, you know, their jewelry, their or their nails. Like my daughter's been getting complimented on her nails like like crazy recently. It's like feel good a little bit. It. And I love it because yeah. she's 18 and she's like, mom, that was so sweet or that's so sweet. And I love that she also kind of appreciates getting a compliment. So, yeah, I think exactly I think we, a lot of us women are kind of the same in that. And then we're realizing more and more how important that is, right? To, yeah. kind of, to lift each other up. So I, I think um, that's important. I think in, at yeah. the end of the day, I know we're at the, the time. Yeah. But, you know, what I hope people get out of this show is that networking is important. It doesn't matter what role you're in. You could be, you know, in post-closing or you could be a receptionist or you could be, you know, you're obviously it seems like salespeople are supposed to network like crazy. Yeah. But it doesn't really matter what role, what age you're at in the mortgage industry. It doesn't matter how old you are, young you are or, you know, whatever. It's it. everybody needs to network because you never know where your next opportunity is going to come from. Yeah. And as, if you're putting out some good content or putting out good energy in the world, then you get that back, I think tenfold. And so that's kind of what you go in it with a positive heart and, uh, and serving, you'll never go wrong. That's yeah. my opinion. I agree. And that's a perfect ending. I couldn't have said it any better. <laughs> but, um, thanks again for everybody that hopped in. I always Thank appreciate you. all of you when you come in and you interact and engage and are so insightful. Like to me, that's the best. Yes. Um, I love so it. Thanks. And Josh and um, Christy. Thank you. You're welcome. It's so great to meet you. Finally. And, uh, I know. And we'll meet when I, when I move out there, you and I will, we'll actually yes. have lunch together. We'll take a selfie and a video and we'll do all that fun stuff. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Well, thank you very much all for right. having me on your show. Thank Keep you. shredding lady. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye.